is concerning when you've got these literal UFOs flying every single night. And Marky, they're huge. These are not like your- Yeah, look at this video. Six yeah. feet across in some cases. This so is crazy. The, the mood is more concerned now than before. But what I've said is that if this is something nefarious, then we should be even more concerned that the FBI, Homeland Security, don't know what it is. My guess is the logical explanation, it's our military, and we're on a need-to-know basis, and right now they've decided we don't need to know. Yeah, uh, y'all need something a little bit more to work with here. I understand you have a hard out in one minute, so 60 seconds left. I know the governor says, you know, there's nothing um, for the public to be concerned about right now. How can he say that when you don't have a lot of information? Right. And also, do you think they know more than they're letting on, Bill? 100%. I'm not so sure our governor knows more because I don't know if the federal government trusts him with information that they don't want to get out there. But that said, absolutely, the FBI, Homeland Security, the military, they must know more because these things are flying on and around military bases. There would be no way to get into those restricted zones without being shot down by the government or stopped at some level. So they definitely know more. I think they owe it to the American people to let us know what is going on. If it's a secret that will compromise national security, then tell us that. You can't give us details, but be rest assured this is an exercise that is on our behalf. Okay, just when you thought the drone story couldn't get any weirder, guess what? It gets weirder. Now, we've had reports already out there that some people have hopped in their car and they've tried to follow these drones. Well, at least one person has reported that once they got kind of close under one of these drones, don't get me wrong, the drone's flying in the sky and obviously the car is on the ground. But once they got under one of these drones as they were following it, they claimed that their car started having electrical problems the clock started going backwards, all of this weird stuff. Well, now people are reporting that they're trying to fly their own drones in the sky with hopes of getting photo or videos of these other mysterious drones. And whenever they get close, or even whenever they just try to fly in general, their drones are being kind of like shut down. There's something jamming them. The batteries will automatically go dead. I've seen, you know... Um, at least a half a dozen reports like this online. I wasn't sure how serious to take it, but now it's been officially reported. So we do know that this is an officially documented problem that people in this area aren't able to fly their own drones. Like the drones that they buy from Best Buy and Walmart, you know, they're having trouble with these drones. So whatever those mysterious things are in the sky, they seem to be making it hard for other people to use their own drones to try to, you know, follow them or get photos of them. I mean, the story's just getting wilder and wilder, but I already prepared you all for this because I told you all that it's, you know, probably very likely that there's technology within these mysterious drones to maybe jam tracking systems. Maybe that's why they're so hard to follow. But also, we don't know if they could be flying over people's homes or these military bases, collecting certain information, hacking, you name it. There's all types of advanced computer technology that are within, you know, a lot of different drones that we know of. So I can only assume that these mysterious drones probably have some pretty advanced tech within them as well. So very concerning situation. But yeah, regular everyday people are now having problems launching their drones. But as far as I know... Um, you know, local police and sheriff's departments, they're going out on drone patrol with their drones, and I haven't seen them report any problems yet, so that's weird to me. So law enforcement drones are flying okay, but regular people's drones aren't? I don't know. Another thing that just makes you wonder. But let's go ahead and roll this news clip, and then I'll be right back with more. Well, it's been the talk in New Jersey lately, mysterious drones flying above multiple counties, and no one really seems to know exactly what's going on. So this has caught the attention of many. Fox Eyes Richard G. Kovis takes a look at the latest sightings in the sky. These are all drones in the sky. It may look like videos from the TV series The Unexplained, what appears to be mystery drones flying over some New Jersey communities. I can see three drones. From down at the shore all the way to the Army facility in Morris County. They just hover. 
a little bit over there, a little bit over there, a little bit, but they just hover back and forth. Wharton, New Jersey resident and Terror Talk podcast host Michael B. has spent the past two weeks attempting to see what these peculiar looking light up moving dots are in the sky with a drone of his own. But so far, he hasn't had any luck. The other night, there was right here over at Picatinny, there was a drone just hanging out. I put my drone up in the air and went towards it. I had full battery life. Not three minutes into the flight, I lost control of the drone. Warning on my screen, you know, lost control, and my drone started going down, dead battery. Michael lives less than a quarter mile from the Picatinny Arsenal Army base, and it has been there over the past few weeks where the military says they have spotted at least 11 unauthorized drones. Governor Phil Murphy says he now needs federal help in finding out where these are coming from. It's really frustrating uh, that we, we don't have more answers as to where they're coming from and why they're doing what they're doing. Down near Monmouth County, the Monmouth County Sheriff also urging federal and state officials to take prompt action addressing these sightings. Jeff Frost from Matawan says he finds himself looking out of his window every night with a bit of fear. It's so weird. It's it's such an eerie feeling. Um, you can, I can't really describe it. Like I. I the, as each passing day goes by and there's less, um, I guess, more conversation about it, but less explicit, like what this is, it, it becomes a little creepier. Could be aliens. Officials aren't going that far, but are asking the public to be aware and keep reporting what they see until someone figures out what's flying in the skies over New Jersey. So here's what I'm wondering, or here's what's on my mind. I know that our military has the capability, you know, to jam these drones or scramble them, whatever you want to call it, and bring them down. I know that we have the capability of doing that. So what I'm wondering is, you know, when everyday average people in New Jersey and these areas are trying to fly their drones, are these drones being stopped by um, from flying by the other mysterious drones that are coming from God knows where? Or have we already implemented the technology or the I don't know if you would call it weaponry or defensive equipment already. Have we already deployed defensive equipment in New Jersey using the technology to jam and take down drones, but it's not working on the mysterious drones that are coming from God knows where, but it is working on everyday average people's drones? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Are these drones being stopped from flying by some tech that's within these other drones that are flying in the sky? Or has the US military or our government implemented some tech trying to take down the other drones, but it's not working, but it is working on our everyday, you know, average drones? I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of a completely confusing situation. And just when I think that I have a grasp on what could be going on here, I'm thrown for another loop. Like right now, we have the Iranian mothership loop. And I'm thinking, okay, well, here's different possibilities of why they would use this as an excuse for war with Iran. But then we got the Pentagon denying any involvement. So it's just like, are denying that Iran is really involved? I don't know anymore. It's, it's a very fascinating story with a lot of different twists. But we're all on board this roller coaster, and we're going to keep it rolling until we find out what's going on. But for now, let me know your thoughts down below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.